Hello everybody, today we are going to use AI in TrueShape and also I will uh, teach you how to use TrueShape Unite to do a single scrum scanning okay first of all we need the first name, the last name and just the last name is mandatory, the others are optional so uh, we enter the first name and the last name and cross it to the case design. In this case, in case that I want to change the name whenever I want, uh, I push uh, the pen beside the name like this one. I add some AC and the rest of the name. And as you can see, because the name is different from what I choose, uh, it's not accepting it. Uh, I should save it. Okay. Uh, this error comes from that the name is different from what uh, is not completely inserted in uh, the database and now the problem solved. Now we are going to open the case and uh, in this case I'm going to use uh, a single crown or to number four six. It's going to be zirconia. Uh, the shade is one A, and we are going to do the steel export. I schedule it for two weeks, and then I'm going to use the scanner. And as you can see, the change in name is shown on the top of the screen. Now, first of all, we should scan the larger. As always, in the three ships, some scanners need uh, the main scan first and then the antagonist. It depends on your scanner. In three shape, uh, always use the lower scan first and then the upper. Okay. Now the scanner is ready. We're starting from the teeth in the back. We scan the occlusal tables. And then I come back, scan the lingual part and then the buccal part and then the rest of the data that is should be scanned and as you can see ai scan is helping me not to catch the tongue not to catch the cotton roll as you can see in the uh, bottom right window there are more than things that uh, you can see here and the moving part is omitted by uh, ai this ai works pretty well i'm so have with that okay now I'm almost catch everything and one hole is not completely recorded so I use the scanner to re-record that special part and as you can see the tongue is coming inside but uh, the AI doesn't let this can get ruined. Okay. Now I can omit the parts, but because it's a brush, I should do two or three strokes. And the laser in this particular thing works pretty well. Now it's time to check whether I have any kind of undercut or not. It's so helpful to check the undercuts right now. And as you can see, I don't have any uh, undercuts here. And the lingual part is because I'm uh, super gingiva, is not uh, something important because it's under my preparation area. Okay. And check what uh, will happen with the artifact on the distal part. Okay, bear it in mind and Let's see what's happened to that. Now it's time to scan the upper jaw. Uh, the scanner should be warm. In case that is not warm, it uh, shows you a bar that, hey buddy, wait a minute, uh, I should warm the scanner. It's warm, it's not fogging. And now we are going to scan the upper. The upper is different from the lower jaw. First, we are going to scan the occlusal surface and then buckle side and then the lingual side so uh, 
the steps are a little bit different from what to see in the Lurja, but uh, the same rules are applied. And now uh, we can cut uh, the things that is not helping us. Uh, I think it's better to use the laser tool because it cuts all the layers and, and then I should go for white. The white is so important because in case that the patient bites improperly, you will uh, make a crown that is uh, not uh, in occlusion. Maybe it's infraocclusion, maybe it's supraocclusion, and in most cases it's supraocclusion. But uh, you should check the bite twice or with so with uh, much care. Okay. No, I have clearance, and it's one of the most used features in a scan. You don't have this in conventional impression. Of course, you have some uh, gauges and some other edges, but this is visual. It, it shows you where exactly is going to uh, have collision and where should be reduced. So it's much, much more useful than uh, a single uh, gauge that you are using for uh, clearance. Okay, after processing the scans, now it's time to shine this AI. First of all, AI in the margin, let's see, is it working properly or not? The first AI in the scan was, uh, I think, almost perfect, but the second part, and uh, margin area should be checked meticulously. And now I put mark on part of it. Uh, as I told you before, the, my margins are super gingiva and but the software goes the deepest part that it found. And look what's happened to that uh, artifact in the distal. It's gone. It's omitted by the software's processing. Now I do the margins. I recheck with uh, the color turned on. It's helpful. Okay. And I think it's perfect. Awesome. I don't like to have the deepest, as deep as possible. Uh, in my opinion, Super Gingivar uh, is far, far better than Sub Gingivar margins. Okay. Uh, 60 microns marginal gap and 130 microns in Result gap, I think, is good. Uh, and now we wait until the software make the things. And ta da! The software gave us uh, almost perfect an AI success. This part of AI was phenomenal. And it's like in a snap, it doesn't take you so long. Okay, everything is good, contacts are good, and we're done. Maybe 10 seconds, maybe less, we're done. Thank you everybody, I hope you used this video, and have a good crowns.